Today is a really important event. It uh, marks the opening of the pilot lab of the New York Genome Center here at Rockefeller University. It's an exciting time for the New York Genome Center. We've worked many months to get this, this up and running, and now machines are actually functioning, and this is sort of the, the kickoff to uh, thank Rockefeller. Obviously, the, the New York Genome Center will have its own permanent home down on Avenue of the Americas, uh, but while that space is being outfitted, the Genome Center needed a place to, to start operations, and we were thrilled that they chose to come to be on the Rockefeller campus. The New York Genome Success will be essential to have collaborations. Without that, we're just a sequencing facility and a bioinformatics facility, and that's not what the New York Genome Center is. It will be a nexus for collaboration. It brings researchers from across the city to collaborate um, in the context of the Genome Center. The real goal, I think, of New York Genome Center is to assemble a set of minds that can do computational science to uh, discover information from all the high throughput sequences of genomes that we're going to have that we wouldn't otherwise come across. If you look at sequencing across the entire country, it's the bioinformatics piece that is lacking everywhere. And so bringing a core mass of bioinformatics group together is really what not only New York needs, but, but everyone needs. It, it has a potential to discover things that humans can't figure out on their own. So this is called the point of singularity, which is something that we're approximating now. And one of the great uh, instances where this point of crossover where the machine can tell us what we can't figure out on our own is high throughput data sets relevant to human disease. So nowhere is that going to be more evident than in high throughput sequencing of genomic DNA and nowhere is it going to be more manifest than in the New York Genome Center. Happy to be part of the early stages of the New York Genome Center and I'm looking forward to working towards its success.